Hello Flosty, my name is Tamara and uh, in today's video we are going to speak, yes, we are going to speak about stitching. And I would like to start my video with a, a great finish of a quite big project, I would say. Uh, this is a Sweet Nectar by Dimensions. Um, this is a design which I uh, wanted a lot and I was very happy that I managed to purchase it, to find and purchase it. And having it already, I decided that um, uh, I won't wait over two, three or four years to stitch it and I decided to start it. So it was a... Um, it was started like, uh, I think it was the end of February. I had a deadline, kind of deadline, because it's not a real deadline, uh, to finish it until the end of uh, spring. Almost, almost did it, but still uh, had to do some stitches in, uh, in June as well. Um, I could have finished it until the end of May, so if I was like uh, quick, 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 but... Um, you know, uh, I didn't want to hurry anymore because I said, what's the point of like hurrying so much and uh, making some uh, more stitches and finishing until the end of May? So what? What will happen? <laughs> Nothing. So I decided to stitch as uh, as I wish. Um, the design is not complicated to stitch. So uh, if I would have tried uh, stitching only this design, of course, I would have finished it much much earlier but you know um, I don't know if it happens to you as well but when I stitch with the same design for a long time I get tired and uh, I mean of tired of the colors tired of the design of the technique which is used and I start stitching slower and I uh, catch myself that I am finding uh, different reasons to do something else uh, except stitching. <laughs> That's why uh, rotation or having like uh, more parallel projects for me, it's ideal. Not too many, of course, because if I have too many, I already, I already start worrying that I have too many and uh, when, I, when I'm going to finish all of them. So um, I uh, fin this is the first um, um, gold collection uh, um, kit I finished this year, I doubt that I will start another one, like, uh, because I told myself that it would be a good uh, achievement if I would stitch one uh, gold collection kit per year, because I have a few which I like very, very much, so it's going to be a pity if I'm not going to stitch them. That's why I said that I'm going to try to do it like steadily, because there are other designs, other projects which I want to stitch throughout the year. So one big uh, gold dimension per year, I think is going to be, as I said, a good achievement. So this is my uh, achievement uh, with the gold dimensions for this year. Uh, from the last time when I um, showed you the design, I uh, finished like the... Um, the flowers here, I finished the hummingbird and uh, the uh, background. By the way, uh, here uh, is the is 18th Count Aida, which I uh, kept. It was in the kit, which I kept. I didn't change it for even weave or for linen. Some people, some stitchers used to change. I think it has sense to change when there is 14th Count Aida and um, you see the structure of the fabric, you know, the 14th count Aida is uh, like a better scene. And you have to stitch something where you have a lot of space, you know, which is going to be seen. A lot of fabric is going to be seen, not stitched one. So then, there, it has sense to change because uh, in that case, uh, if you change the Aida on uh, linen or on even weave, it's going to look much more beautiful. Here, the only space uh, not stitched space where you can see Aida is here, here, a little bit here, and a little bit here. So very, very little. And if you take, if I take in comparison, for example, stitching on uh, 18th count Aida and stitching on uh, 36 count uh, uh, linen, uh, I mean like even weave, um, for me it's uh, easier, much easier to stitch on 18th count Aida. That's why I think for dimensions where I have 18th count, I won't change for for even with for sure I won't change about the sixteenth count. I'll see 
but we 18th now. Even if uh, pieces of uh, fabric is going to be seen throughout the stitching, I think I'm, I'm not going to change because for me and for my eyes, it's better to use Aida. So, um, yeah, a very beautiful one, as I said. It works every stitch. It's a pity that uh, Dimensions um, doesn't uh, make it anymore, so it's an out-of-print um, design. Maybe they are going to reprint it one day. And as you can see, I have here the um, uh, plate. It's a Lena Liu plate because this is like a, a dimension, um, how they say, design made by one of Lena Liu's uh, images, pictures, uh, drawings, I don't know how to call them. So um, this one is, uh, this is the um, broad build humming bird. So uh, this is the plate which served as uh, uh, inspiration for this design. Uh, I have uh, all the plates from this series because uh, my next step, I don't know when it's going to be, my next step is going to be like framing because I want to frame this one and find, uh, you know, there are special frames for um, plates so that you would um, hang them on the wall. So finding... Uh, there are six or eight, I think there are eight plates. Uh, finding for them and uh, thinking about a nice, beautiful uh, composition on the wall. And as I said, I stitched according to a, a kit. I had the kit and uh, the only thing I can show you <laughs> is the uh, thread left over. So everything was enough uh, from the threads. I decided, um, you know, the... Um, old type dimension kits, they, uh, the threads are not organized, like the new ones, you have to sort it, sort them out by itself, and they have a thread organizer. I don't know why I didn't want to use that one, and I said, okay, I'll use some Shepherd's Bush organizers, I had them like new, yeah, from some Shepherd's Bush kits. It wasn't such a good idea, because they were like, you know, I had all the time to comb them. <laughs> <laughs> but nevertheless, everything was enough. These are the leftovers and not all the leftovers because um, some of the uh, threads, color threads which I needed, I already pulled out for a project. Yes, I want to try to stitch a dimensions kit uh, with uh, thread leftovers from other kits and with a chart. So the original chart, I mean. You'll see what... Uh, what um, uh, what I have, to, what I want to this video in this video, I will show you what uh, new project is going to be. Also dimensions, not gold collection like big gold collection. Okay, so yes, um, sweet nectar by dimensions from by picture or image by Lena Liu is ready, and I am very very glad that I have finished finally that I have finished finally this project. And as I said, that I pulled some threads from the uh, Sweet Nectar leftover because I want to stitch something uh, also by Just Nan, but something where I don't have the kit. So this is what I want to stitch. Yes, again, <laughs> a plate. Yes, probably the ones which are um, the dimension stitchers or the one who know the, um, uh, I mean, the design, they... Um, already know what this is. It's called a cozy gland. This is a gold, uh, mini gold dimensions. I have been wanting this design for a long time, but I cannot find the kit. The kit is not popping out anywhere. And I decided to try to stitch it with my own forces. So I wanted to stitch it for quite a long time, but uh, recently at a charity shop, I found this plate. I didn't even know that there is a plate with this uh, image and the plate by the way also is called a cozy glam 
And I said, okay, this is a sign. This is a sign that I should start uh, uh, stitching uh, this uh, design. So that's why from uh, the leftovers I had, from all the leftovers, first of all, I um, got the uh, um, chart, the original chart. I uh, looked in the key and I looked at the uh, threads, uh, you know, like, numbers and i pulled out from the leftovers the threads i need look how the beautiful they are how beautiful they are and as a fabric i decided to use so originally it should be aida 18th uh, and i decided that i would uh, stitch it on uh, um, linen so this is belfast this is 32nd count i'm going to use a bit larger count for this one and i hope it's going to look nice the color is uh, antique white of the fabric so yeah nothing more to say to this one i hope i'm going to succeed i'm hope uh, i hope i'm going to have a good result and of course i'll let you know in my future videos how this project is going on the next design which i want to show you that i finished stitching but not finished into a bell pull as i wanted to uh, this is friendship collaboration by uh, shepherd's bush charlene design and uh, designs and uh, just uh, nan yes it was a design which i wanted very very much and you know i stitched it in three days <laughs> i kind of kind of you know i finished stitching and i kind of get got disappointed because I waited so much, I wanted so much to get this one, I finally got it and I stitched it so quickly. But stitching it was a great, great uh, pleasure and it was very, very nice for me. Okay, let me show you closer uh, what I uh, what I got. Um, and again, I got um, amazed of how much beauty can you achieve with just a few um, shades of DMC. Because here, there, here. Uh, weren't used any, um, you know, like hand dyed, uh, multicolored threads, uh, silks, uh, things like this, uh, beads, uh, uh, metallic threads, none of this. Just three charms, um, like how many DMCs? Let me say. Fourteen. Fourteen shades of DMC. It's such a beauty was achieved. So uh, this is Shepherd's Bush. Mm -hmm. uh, by the way, Shepherd's Bush are selling this uh, chart of theirs like uh, as uh, like framed separately. In case you would like to buy it and finish it, like stitch it and have it like separately, be aware that, that this one is going to be uh, like this big, <laughs> like this big. You see. It's pretty small. Um, which is the? It's uh, three um, inches on twelve inches. If you, we speak about the uh, um, size in inches, so it starts with such a such a band because everything you know that in this kind of samplers is divided into bands, and this one is repeated. Uh, this one is in the beginning, in the end, and uh, it, it is between the. Uh, uh, designers like when one design by one designer finishes and the other starts it uh, it is used so it's like it was used one two three four four times yeah four times this one the first one was used four times then there are two nice sheep sheep and the shepherd the flowers this is satin stitch which goes down here this one is satin stitch. Then this band was simple, just cross stitch and some back stitch. This is long arm stitch, it was called. I think I don't remember exactly. Herringbone, sorry. Herringbone stitch. Here is a rice stitch. Very easily, but you know, these ones were very easily done. This is why I finished it so quickly, because it's not a lot of stitching with threads and... Um, a lot of uh, speciality stitches which are made easily. Then this one, if I'm not, not wrong, is the Hungarian. This one is Hungarian. Then again, it's just uh, cross stitch and some back stitch. This one I liked very much. This is knitting stitch, this one. I liked it, if its effect very much. And then again, cross stitch and back stitch. And the final 
uh, band which goes in each part. This is the words uh, which are uh, made uh, one over one. So we have one thread and it's made over one and they are, made, they are stitched here in two shades of DMC so that it would be this effect of ombre, you know, like going one into the other. Uh, and the two flowers also one by one. And these flowers, they are, the stitches are exactly as in this one. So they are mini copies of the, the big ones. Um, the words, by the way, which are here, it says, though far apart, still close in heart, friends will ever be. Beautiful. And the, uh, again, the repeating uh, band, which is... Uh, which means that uh, Shepherd's Bush finished and Charlin Design started. Charlin Designs I haven't stitched so far, so it was something new for me. Nothing, uh, something new as a designer, but nothing new as techniques which were used inside because everything was pretty, pretty clear. And this one starts with such a stitch, which I liked a lot. Um, don't remember how it's called. It's interesting, you know, like when you look, it seems that this is cross stitch, but when you look carefully, you see that this is not cross stitch, it's a speciality stitch, this one. Uh, then it was a uh, circular Algerian eyelets, like here and here. And this was, uh, uh, this is hearts, and it's a kind of back stitch which you go with one thread, but you go twice and you pull a little bit, you know, and you have this effect. I liked it a lot. The charm they have, so you stitch a heart and then attach the charm. By the way, the charms I um, attached as it was said with the thread which was set, but I took also YLI thread, uh, the invisible one, and I attached here, you see, because this one doesn't go anywhere. It stays It stays here. And the same with this one. So I uh, stitched it like here and then attached this one, except the last one because that one is a bead, so you don't have to do anything special. Then there is a line here which has some letters, uh, hearts in uh, like a long stitch, uh, Algerian eyelet. Again, this element is repeated here on the edges. So um, when I started, like, uh, I, I understood that there are letters. I understood which letters are, but I thought that it's a word, you know. And when I realized that it's S, B, J, N, C, D, I understood that these are the initials of the designers of this um, friendship co collaboration uh, sampler. This S, B, it's Shepherd's Bush, J, N, Just Nan, uh, C, D, it's Charlin Designs. Nice. Nice idea. And this one is so like covered with all these things, flowers, hearts, that uh, I think only the stitcher can realize. A person who looks very, uh, how they say, cannot understand what, what actually here is. Then it was a, a band which comes with uh, Smyrna, large Smyrnas, and uh, this one, the cross stitches, they were supposed to be small Smyrnas. I didn't make them Smyrnas because usually it doesn't have um, the effect of, of a Smyrna when you make such so many, and it's too bulky and it's too difficult to make them, and it takes a lot of time. Yeah, so I made like this this change. Then there is the band which comes with uh, just the cross stitch, no back stitch at all. And then um, I don't know how to show you. It's the mosaic stitch here. The mosaic stitch is used quite often by Just Nan. I like it. And uh, when you are making it in two threads, how like in Just Nan case, it seems that there are like cross stitches, you know. But here, the uh, mosaic stitch uh, is supposed to made, be made with alternating um, colors. And when I started making it in two threads, it was too... I don't know. I don't know. It wasn't seen um, as uh, it was intended to. That's why I took one thread and I made it in one thread. And I think uh, this is, was a good idea because it looks pretty, pretty nice. Uh, then it's such a row with backstitched butterflies. Here I took, uh, for the butterflies, I took... Um, took uh, uh, then DMC, I took um, shade darker because I thought this one is too light. Because when you look at here on the preview, they are pretty bright, you see. And when I was starting making them with the shade they said, I, I, I thought that they are not okay. That's why I changed. I like the change. And the word still close in heart. And the band which says we are going to the next designer. And the next designer is Just Nan. So Just Nan starts with Hungarian uh, stitch here. Then there are like uh, Algerian made uh, in the uh, center. And um, 
this I mean like these flowers and the satin stitch comes around such a beautiful band free butterflies which are cross stitched and only antennae they are back stitched uh, hearts uh, pink hearts which are rodos hearts and there are like six like this you see one two three four five six then um, this is uh, again the um, Herringbone stitch. This uh, this hearts a lot of hearts by the way in this uh, um, sampler. These hearts are back stitched. I don't didn't understand why did I need the green one. I thought that it looks nicer without green, but I already made this green one. Green one, so I didn't like take it out. <laughs> and uh, such I think three flowers in in the middle of this one you attach the uh, peacock bead. And the words friends will ever be and the closing. Again, re closing, repeating band. Very nice. Very, very nice. Yes, I know it's simple. Yes, I know that maybe for some of you it doesn't mean anything. <laughs> but for me, it's it's a lot. So, um, I um, I stitched it like this. As you can see, it's stitched on an edge of a bigger like fabric. You may ask why. <laughs> because I intend to finish it as a... A bell pull and um, I had in my stash when I was looking for antique white uh, cashel linen uh, I noticed that I had this piece which is uh, 50 centimeters like here is 50 centimeters and here it was like 26 I think I don't remember exactly and I just realized that I calculated how much I need for the sampler and I realized that this one is going to be enough to stitch the sampler uh, to have enough like for the finishing and to make the uh, back part to make also with this uh, linen. So I intend to make the back part also in white linen. Yeah, I'm not going to buy a separate fabric for, for this. So this one is going to be enough for for everything, for finishing, for everything. Believe me, I calculated. <laughs> okay, speaking about the finishing, I said last time that my dream finishing is this one, which just Nan made as a bell pull. And... Um, for this finishing, I have a bell pull. It's exactly the same uh, pattern. It's just here. It's colored. But the colored ones now are, are expensive on eBay. When they are popping out, they are expensive. But this one was a release, I think. And it costs like normal money. Um, I said last time that this one is white. I have another one. That one is in white. So this one, like... It's, it's like this. I don't regret a bit that it's not white because uh, this one goes very well with the charms, the silver charms. Perfect, I would say it goes. And look, if you wondered if it's enough for brick, look, you see, I will need like a centimeter here and a centimeter here. Yes, I'm speaking in centimeters because I grew up <laughs> in centimeters and my mind uh, refuses to accept the inches yes i know how much in uh, like i know how to transform uh, inches into centimeters but nevertheless i think in centimeters <laughs> yes okay what else do i have if you noticed here it's such a lace i purchased in an not an online offline shop i just found one and i went inside and found this ones you see i if there were more patterns, I would have bought them, but unfortunately, I found that just these two. I like both of them. I don't know which one I'm going to use, but uh, I like both of them. Maybe some of them I'm going to use for um, the other one I'm going to use for other samplers. And I also purchased uh, some extra DMC threads. I mean, the shades of uh, the DMC, pink DMC, which was used like also here. And this one I intend to use for this tassels, for uh, this ones, and for this one. I'm not sure. Uh, the thing I am worried most is this one, because I'm not sure that I'm going to be able to make it. But I'll try to do my best, because I desperately want such a finishing. And yes, um, I was wondering why uh, Justin didn't say anything about the finishing, because usually there is information about the finishing of this or that uh, beautiful thing she has on the preview and yes i haven't noticed from the very beginning but it's said that bell pull shown with just nan it's this one and finishing instruction kit for friendship collaboration bell pull available for pamela's final touch <laughs> so apparently pamela's final touches it had this uh, kit for finishing this uh, design uh, unfortunately uh, 
I don't have this one. I haven't ever seen this one being sold. That's why I'm going to try to deal by myself. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to manage to finish it and show it in the same video. I mean, like this video. If not, next videos, I hope you will see this one like finished in a bell pool. In the previous video, previous video, one of the previous videos, I was showing you uh, the possible uh, projects, mini project, like small projects of uh, summer. And what do you think? None of them is going to be the next one. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, somehow I uh, missed this um, Jasmine um, um, chart which I have. This is Sunny Summer Happy Garden. Uh, this one is a 2011 design which I haven't seen uh, like uh, anywhere being sold officially, <laughs> I would say. It's just, it was a moment when a lot of stitchers uh, had this design. They managed to purchase it somewhere, I don't know where. Uh, and uh, I just missed that uh, that uh, wave of um, of sales. I mean, and um, then it was it uh, popped up on eBay, but uh, it was expensive, and it was expensive because uh, it has such a pin, such a sunflower pin, a beautiful, beautiful, nice, nice one, and um, uh, the embellishment pack which has here is uh, just some petite uh, black beads, and this is how it looks like absolutely nice so uh, i just had the luck to find it in a shop online shop on its usual price and i was so so happy that i found it and purchased it and summer came and i realized that i forgot about this design I said no 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 this one is going to be stitched so uh, i looked at the materials fortunately i need here just uh, uh, DMC threads. These are the shades. I adore these shades of green, by the way. I adore them and these shades of uh, orange. And um, about the fabric, so the fabric requested here is uh, Morris Blue by Wix Dye Works. I unfortunately don't have this one because I told myself so many times that I should start buying this Morris Blue because it's requested in more just and designs. It's just so far, the designs I have stitched, uh, in the designs I have stitched, I didn't need uh, the, that one. That's why I haven't purchased it so far. Uh, I don't have the patience to wait, for, like to order and wait until the fabric is coming. That's why I decided to take the ice blue, classical ice blue from um, uh, Cashel, I mean, from uh, uh, Zweigert. I think it's going to be nice. Okay, the blue is not going to be so intense, but I still think it's going to be nice. Because I, I want to stitch this one desperately quickly. About the finishing, I tend to think that I'm going to finish this one not in a frame. I'm going to finish it as a pin cushion because it's a small design. It's three on three inches. So I don't have a frame for this one. And I don't think... If I would frame all the small just nails which I stitch like during a day, I would need a lot of frames and space to, to stock them. So, so far I think it's going to be a pink cushion, but of course you'll see what the final result is going to be. So I think next next time you'll see this one is going to be a finished uh, work. And I'm ready to show you the finished design. I mean, like I have finished it. Yes, I, I stitched it and made a pink cushion. This is how it looks like. Now I think that this one should go like more like this. So, um, yes, the fabric, you can see that this is not ice blue. For those who know that ice blue is lighter and this one is darker. Fortunately, fortunately, I remember that I have a uh, packet where I have little uh, pieces of fabric which are, which are left from different uh, projects and which would be suitable for a small project like this. And I had such a uh, job lane. Uh, Bluebell, I think it's called. This one was used in uh, ja in uh, Mill Hill Debbie Mom Seasons when I stitched them. I didn't know that in two of them, and the fabric size was like that. But I said that I'm going to take the upper one. It was a pity to throw it away, I would say. And this one helped, you see. So it's uh, it's not Morris blue, but still I think it's a very nice blue. This one is going to be thrown away. I just wanted to show you um, what I used. I was so happy when I found this one. It's 28th count. So originally this one recommends 30th count, but I use 28th. I don't think it's a doesn't make any change. There are no, there are no charms here that should fit and they wouldn't fit. 
beautiful absolutely exquisitely beautiful um stitched it in a couple of okay not couple of several hours <laughs> but during a day um the pink ones, the pink shades we used just in this flower here. There is, an, there is even a, a backstitch, like here there was backstitch, the only backstitch used. This uh, sunflower is pretty nice. The blackbirds, and it's written here, sunny summer, happy garden. So yeah, sad. Nice, really, really nice, cute. Uh, the back I uh, like kept the same uh, job lane. I initially I was thinking like having uh, the whole thing sunny summer happy garden and I said oh no it's too much and it's the back of the pink cushion why should I spend my time and do this and I thought maybe just doing the oh, this um, orange uh, like frame and I said it's going to look ugly this orange frame and finally I decided to make just a bird a black bird here just I don't know why but I said, okay, let it be. Okay, and uh, like Mim stitched the uh, Biscorn stitch on the perimeter, like put them together with the green shade, which they said, even here, you see it's the green shade. And um, ideally for me, uh, the final touch of this uh, pink cushion, it would have been a uh, uh, hand dyed silk ribbon, uh, you know, like the shepherd's bush variant when you like attach them here. The thing is that I don't know where to buy such uh, such ribbon. If you know a, a brand which sells this uh, this uh, ribbons, could you please tell me because I haven't found like uh, anywhere where to to buy them. And I was thinking, okay, I'm going to leave it like that until I'm going to find uh, a ribbon or something else to finish it. But but I remember that I had such cups via glass, you see, from Preciosa, the green ones. I remember that I had this, um, these cups and they are green and I said, okay, they are going to go good here. And then I remember that I have a lot of uh, prim uh, uh, pins, this kind of pins. I bought them in like different colors so that this bead would be different color because I... Um, use them for just nan mice uh, when i have to attach their head rest for example uh, the um, uh, witch mouse uh, the witch hat it had i used a black one to to attach uh, for example when i'm going to stitch the uh, uh, winter um, owl uh, there is a crown there i'm going to attach with this one so they are the prim, it's the brand. They are not cheap, by the way, but they are very cool, good quality. So I uh, took four with blue beads. I tried with yellow, I didn't like how it looked like. That's why I decided that it's going to be blue. And you know, it looks nice and they are, they are pretty well there because it's the stitch, you know, and it's not going out so easily. So far, I intend to leave this one like this until I will uh, get a ribbon <laughs> as I wanted in first hand, but who knows, maybe maybe it's going to stay like this forever until it's going to be alive, this <laughs> pink cushion. Okay, so yes, this design is finished. He is finished stitching, finished into a pink cushion. And the part which I like is like having the pin and inserting the pin here. And making this pin cushion happy. So this is how it looks like this finished design. Cute. Really, really cute. And uh, I think that's it. That's everything I wanted to show you in today's video. I mean, I showed you, apparently I showed you just finished uh, designs. Not all of them, like the first two are not uh, entirely finished. The first one is not framed. The second one is not a bell pull. Just this one is a pin cushion. But nevertheless, I think I had uh, good, I have good uh, um, achievements in, uh, in stitching. So thank you for watching. I hope you liked it and see you in my next videos. Until then, bye bye.